Good afternoon, everybody. Once again, this is your girl Aisha with Everyday Life with Aisha. Hello. It's the weekend and I decided to do a beauty store run. So I just want to show you a couple of things that I picked up. Hopefully, you can find some of these things at your local beauty supply store. If not, there are online avenues that you can use, okay? So I am going to be doing the two strand twist on my son. So I got the single prong clips so that I can twist it here and they will actually stay as I'm doing the next row. Um, this is the one by three four clips and it's 80 inside of the pack. Then I decided to pick up a couple of hair earrings because I'm about to do my hair over. These braids I have done two weeks ago and it's time for them to be redone. So I bought two pair of costume jewelry that I can wear to work. This pair, cute little everyday hoops that I can wear to work. Different sizes depending on what I'm feeling like for the day. Musical interlude by my son and my dad in the background. My dad came from New York to visit the children, so you can hear a little jam session going on in the background. Um, so Expressions has this um, butterfly lock, distress locks, whatever you want to call them, and a mochiato tone, and I haven't seen anybody locally wear them. So I went to my local beauty supply store to show y'all some package sauce. Twist it up is the brand. You get 18 18 strands. And it's like a number 2, 27. This one looks like it's a 30, all mixed in to one pack. The length of this looks like it's probably about a... Let me put this up to my face. I'll tell you what I think the length is. So from my head down to... So this is probably going to be like an 18 inch, 16 inch length. But you get 18 strands in the pack. So to do my head, because you know I like big hair, I got one, two, three, I got four packs. I got four packs of this expressions butterfly locks. But while I was in there looking for the macchiato, they didn't have enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually highlight it with the 2T4 2730, which is this one right here. So it's like the lighter color up the darker color up here and then it gets lighter at the bottom so it's going to blend right in with the other butterfly locks that i have um also so youtube video coming next of the installation i'm going to refresh these little braids right here and i'm gonna put it right on top of these braids so while i was in the beauty supply store i also noticed that they had a new brand of passion twist so i love 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 passion twist passion twist has been my favorite protective hairstyle thus far so two time large bomb twist 12 inch in the color tr plum i had to pick them up look look please get into this color look at that beautiful beautiful plum color a little closer so y'all can see it. It is absolutely positively gorgeous. Let's take it off the pack. So I am absolutely looking forward to in the next three weeks, because I'm gonna keep these passion twists there for about three weeks. I'm putting this new hairstyle on. And then this collection comes in different styles. So at the very back, it shows you the other styles that they have with different colors. 
They had this weird blue color. Y'all know I like color, but I don't like that blue. It's like a... I'm not going to say graveyard blue, but it's like a graveyard blue. Like, it's not this blue. It's not a royal blue. It's not a navy blue. I, I don't know. It's like an ashy graveyard blue. I ain't wearing it. It's for somebody else. Um, but what I am considering is getting a 613, which is that light, light platinum, and adding it as a highlight with this plum. So it'll be the plum with the 613 highlight. And my head is big, so I got five packs of this because I want to make sure that all my hair is covered up. I don't like when people have a crochet and the wind blow and you can see all their braids. I don't like that. So I work and make sure that when I do my crochet, I do it straight back going this way. Then I do the connecting braids to three to four big braids in the back. And then I do a zigzag in the very, very back so that when I decide to wear my hair up in a ponytail, I have the freedom to do so. And it still has my hair looking natural. So for this hairstyle, you need to have at least 95 to 100 twists in your hair to really cover all your hair. If you have a small little peanut, then three packs would be good. But I'm far from a peanut. I'm closer to a grapefruit. So I don't have a huge gigantic head but I'm far from a peanut with that being said I got five packs to make sure I can cover all of my domology you know I'm not in denial I understand <laughs> that this head is filled with a smart brain and also hair so I gotta make sure I got enough so I'm not out here in these, in these streets looking like the mannequin in the hair store I need to look like oh girl how you doing where you get that done at? Oh, it was Aisha. I did it. Check out Everyday Life with Aisha so you can see the tutorial on how I made it do what I do when I do this hairstyle. So, that's usually what I am doing. So, um, just wanted to, you know, bring you with me, show you the couple of things that I picked up. My local beauty supply store that I went to today is Mid K, but I also have seen both of these hairs that I have in traditional colors black 1b 2 4 i've seen them in um 30 but i've never seen this plum so that's what made me pick it up is because when i'm on youtube i always want to bring you fresh content something different from what everybody else is doing so i may be bringing you the same type of crochet but i'm gonna do a different color from everybody else my personality and how i present it is going to be different so this plum, I have not seen anybody on YouTube review this color yet. So I am debuting it first on my channel. I do know that they have it in other colors. Um, I'm looking at this. It says that they have it in T3. Sorry, T530. I like that because that's a burgundy color. And then it says they have it in T gray, which is pretty also. They have it in T30, T27, 613. 4, 2, 1B, and 1. So for those of you who don't know the difference between 1 and 1B, 1 is supposed to be jet black. 1B is supposed to be off black. So if you want something that is in between, then you can get the 1B. If you have dark, 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 dark black hair, then you should be going with the number 1. But if your hair is dark brown, but not officially black, then the 1B would be good. If you have a dark, 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 dark brown, but it's not the darkest of brown, then you should use the number two. If you have a medium brown color, that's when you get the number four. 613 is that beautiful, beautiful, bright, bright blonde. 27, it's like I showed you in this right here. This is a 27, let me read it by itself. Hold on for a second. This is 27. This is 27. Then 30 is this color. This color is the 30. And then the T350 is the burgundy color, which I wear often on my channel. And I don't have no gray hair, so I can't show y'all what the gray looks like. But 
I hope that what I said was helpful. Hopefully it's informative. Help, hopefully it's something that you can um, now try for yourself because sometimes I look at YouTube as inspiration. I'm like, okay, let me see what hairstyle this lady has. She and I have the same facial features with the same complexion. Her nose is shaped like mine. Her eyes is like mine. If it look good on her, it's gonna look good on me. And that's usually what I use as a point of reference when it comes to me choosing my styles. As well as, I've been wearing fake, fake hair extensions, weaves, crochets, ponytails since the early 90s. So now I know what my niche is, what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. And I stay away from the stuff that don't look good on me. And I stick with the stuff that it does. So, um, I love, love, love curls. I love twists. Um, I've done dreads before, but I haven't done dreads recently. So, these butterfly locks are a good... Um, introduction to the dreads because I haven't had dreads all summer long and I've been looking forward to them so I'm going to be having my little butterfly lock dreads and um, I'm going to do them after I finish this video and please hit that notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I upload another video because you don't want to miss it you may be interested and you might know somebody who's interested back to school is coming up Kids are going back to school. People are going back to college. You might want a new hairstyle. So check out my video. See which one you like. And if it's something that you are interested in, go get the stuff. Find a hairstylist who can do it for you. If you're local, holla at your girl. I'll be more than happy to play in your hair and beautify you on the day, whatever day we set up. All right? Until next time, be kind to one another. Life is so short, and you never know when today is going to be your last so love on your family love on your friends love on your enemies because that's what the lord will have us to do all right see you guys next time leave a comment if you have any questions leave it in the comment section i will do my very best to get back to you as soon as possible all right guys till next time peace